اهلا وسهلا Welcome to the Intercontinental Taba Heights Resort. My name is Mohammed. I'm one of the concierge team and I'd like to take you in a little tour to show you what to do around Taba. Here, yeah, a place that we highly recommend is a beautiful color canyon. Getting inside the canyon, the trail is getting narrower. As you can see, in some places it's really an adventure, but this is fun. Here in the center of the color canyon, the colors are getting more intense. The mountains are watching. The Red Sea uh, ranks as one of the best diving destinations in the world because it is such a diverse coral sea. It is perfect for uh, beginner divers as well as experienced divers. Of course, the most accessible activity is snorkeling. You can do it from just about every single hotel beach in the Red Sea itself. There are obviously other activities that we run here, hobby cat sailing, windsurfing. The Red Sea offers so much. There's so many great places to eat in Taba. Let me show you a few. For a good local seafood, I recommend Habiba Village. It's right on the beach. Try the campo plate. The seafood salad is also excellent. While you're here in Taba, you have to experience our fresh juices. This one called Habiba Why Not. Habiba means my lover. And why not needs no explanation. So let me tell you about my favorite dining place. It's Castle Zaman. It's a slow food castle cuisine, which, uh, which means that the food is cooked for a long time, very low temperatures. We cook in pottery, in toggins that were used since the pharaonic times. And if you lift the meat, you'll find uh, fruits as well down there. That's um, Israel, then Jordan, this is the border. And the moon, of course, it rises above Saudi Arabia. So at full moon, this is the best night of the month. Something that you shouldn't miss while shopping is perfume shopping. Here in Dahab, near Taba city, you can find the key of life where you can even create your own perfume. Lavender, it's a special one used for relaxation. Take a few drops and put it in the burner and you can perfume your whole house. Right beside the perfume shop in Dahab, you can find the Tutankhamun jewelry shop. Sinai is known as the land of turquoise. They also are specialized in corals, which comes from nearby. In this little town near the hotel Nueva, you can find many nice Bedouin souvenirs. Here's a belly cover. It's handmade. It's about $9, which is really a good price. This is Garabaya, the traditional Bedouin wear. It's really comfortable and perfect for the desert. The Sinai Peninsula, where Taba Heights is located. This is supposedly the place where Moses and his people were lost for 40 years. Near Mountain Sinai, you can find the Golden Calf. This is supposedly the idol that Moses destroyed when he came down from the mountain. At the foot of Mount Sinai is St. Catherine's Monastery. This is the burning bush where God first talked to Moses. The bush has been here for over 3,000 years. We are here now on the highest point of the mountain of Sinai, waiting for the sunrise. What is really incredible here that this mountain is the nearest spot for God has been. After all this hiking without sleeping overnight, it's really worth seeing it. Thanks for joining me on this little tour. We're looking forward to seeing you soon at the beautiful Taba. Salaamu Alaikum. Bye.